when James ate the dub, it was kind of, it was different. I would say that. It was different for everybody. We ain't never seen nothing like it before. Everybody was just, hmm, just intrigued. Just, okay. He never really explained it, but he but he said he'll never do it again. So, you know, uh, that 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 just tell you what, what what you need to know about that. I consider myself one of the best linebackers in the NFL. You know, uh, just by by the way I you know uh, you know approach the game. You know the way I go out there and have fun. You know, uh, I just go out there and just got to compete my hardest, man, and just try to be you know be the talk of you know the NFL as being one of the best linebackers and. Um, also try to contribute wins with it. So uh, to answer your question, yeah, I feel like I'm one of the best. Quan's a real freak, man. You know, um, me knowing Quan personally, and once the injury happened, the exact day that it happened, you know, he had he went through his little emotion or whatever. But you could tell that he was determined to get back right away, and uh, and it's showing right now. You know, he's always already squatting, already doing single leg stuff. You know, and um, it's no surprise to me, man. He's one of those determined, motivated guys that, you know, want to be out there and love the game of football, a fiery guy. So, you know, for me to see, you know, it's real, you know, a uh, real, real special moment for me to see because I know what he's capable of. I believe it was week seven or week eight when the uh, when the, when the injury happened, and uh, and he's already, you know, I want to say 11 weeks out already, and he's squatting, getting his getting his uh, strength back in his knee. So. Uh, you know he's gonna be a force to record with already. He's forced to record with already, and uh, when he come back, he's gonna be even better. My Super Bowl prediction. So my thing is, man, I got I got people who I'm real tight with on both sides with the Rams, Mark Barron, and then I got uh, Adrian Claiborne, uh, a couple guys over there with the Pats. So uh, I I can't really take sides. I mean, I know I, I know you want to uh, answer, but I really can't take sides. But at the end of the day, man. I'd be happy for both of those guys. They'll get a, a Super Bowl win for their first Super Bowl win, be whether it be the Rams for Mark or the Pats with uh, Adrian Claiborne. You know, I played with those guys in um, in Tampa. You know, uh, Mark, me and Mark came in together, kept a coach relationship since, and then uh, me and Adrian Claiborne, we was there, we was locker mates. So, you know, I was real cool. I'm real cool with those guys. I don't think it's going to be a high-scoring game, I'll tell you that. I think it's going to be a fun football game to watch, though. The one rule that I changed is that targeting rule, man. They just – Throw flags just because it's a hard hit most of the time, and then uh, I wish I really wish they could do like what the college do, review the hit, and see if like they could take the flag back and stuff like that. So I really wish they could add that in. But hits like that, guys get fined, and then sometimes it don't be that type of vicious hit, and then uh, it could be a, a key play in the game. You know, they call it unnecessary roughness, and it could be a 15 yard penalty, a, a big penalty or whatever. So I would like to see them, you know, kind of like. Use a replay, replay to uh, kind of you know view that to take the penalty away or just determine if it's a unnecessary hit.